I get a lot of questions about the difference between a straight bit, an up spiral, and a down spiral. And I've found that there's a lot of misinformation out there, especially about spiral bits. So I set up a simple test. I'll run one program using each bit in a blank made up of three different materials. We'll begin with a quarter inch straight cutter in solid carbide. To give the bits a fair test, the program cuts a pocket, bores a set of three holes, and then cuts the part out. I'm running all three bits in a blank made up of plywood, oak, and poplar. Because bits tend to work differently in different types of material. And for this first run, I left the dust shoe off so you could better see how each segment is cut. And all three bits were run with a feed speed of 70 inches per minute and an RPM of 12,000. The same program is run again, this time using a down shear spiral. The same G-code program was run again. The same pocket was cut, the same holes were bored, the same cutout made. As I clean the part, it's easy to see that the down shear spiral doesn't seem to pack or compress chips into the slots or the holes any more than any other bit. And finally, the program is run with an up spiral bit. Same program, same feeds and speeds, same stock. Now let's take a close look and see how the results vary. All three of these bits were brand new for this test. And while the cut quality is good on all three, there are differences. The straight bit and the up spiral both showed a little bit of fuzz around the top of the cut. But the down shear leaves the top surface absolutely clean as it cuts. The up spiral seems to have cut the poplar just a little bit better, but the other two did a fine job. And the up spiral shows a slight advantage when cutting the plywood. Interestingly, although each part was cut out using three passes, the down spiral left the best edge. You almost can't see that there were three steps. I keep all three of these bits in my toolbox, and I use them regularly. But I generally prefer the down shear for making pockets or working with veneers. I tend to choose the up shear when working with deep grooves or boring small holes. The added chip clearance does keep things cooler and help prevent burning. But honestly, most of the time a straight bit is just fine for everything I need to do. And you'll find that in many types of plywood, it actually leaves a better edge than a spiral bit does. You can learn more about choosing and using the best bits for the job in my book, the Beginner's Guide to CNC Machining in Wood from Fox Chapel Publishing.